Hey guys, today I have a little pamphlet I wanted to show you guys. Um, it's from St. Paul's Lutheran Church in York, Pennsylvania. You can see it's dated May 27th, 1945. It was made um, in memory of these four, Walter, Warren, Richard, and Bud. Let's open it up here. Um, you can see those four. And over here, it's pretty much just a list of what they had scheduled for that day. So music, you know, different kind of things. Um, but I wanted to actually tell you guys just the story of these four, because you can see it gives you some details, but it doesn't get into how they died, you know. And I actually was able to research what happened to them, so I wanted to share that. Um, so we'll start with Walter. Walter entered service March 1941. He trained at Tampa, Florida. He was sent overseas September 1st, 1942. Um, it says he was killed in the British Isles. And the story behind Walter was he was actually on board a B-24 Liberator. Um, I'm not sure what they were doing, whether they were doing training or conducting operations, but they were actually in England. And I guess on the day that it happened, um, it was very cloudy and just overall bad conditions. And they ended up crashing due to poor visibility um, in Porlock, England. And there was about 12 people on board. It killed 11 out of the 12. So almost everyone died. Um, next up, we have Warren Richard Ness. Entered service October 1943. Trained at Fort Mc McLennan, uh, Georgia. Sorry for butchering that word. <laughs> Sent overseas April 4th, 1944. Killed at Cherbourg, France, June 16th, 1944. Um, the story behind him is kind of pretty simple, but still pretty sad. Um, he was just killed during the Battle of Cherbourg. He would have been involved in the Normandy invasion. Killed just a few weeks after um, the, the initial landings. Um, <clears throat> so next up, Richard Trout Dreisbach. Entered service May 1944. Trained at Camp Landing, Florida. Sent overseas November 13th, 1944. Um, and the story behind Richard was he was actually on board the SS Leopoldville. It was a troop transport ship that was traveling from the UK to Cherbourg to unload soldiers. Um, I read that it was soldiers that were there to provide reinforcements for the Battle of the Bulge that was currently going on during that time. But I'm not sure if that's true. Um, but anyway... Um, yeah, the SS Leopoldville, they were traveling, and they weren't far from Cherbourg when they were actually torpedoed by a, um, the U, let me see here, the U-486, and it sunk it, and that one sinking, they lost about 750 Allied soldiers in that one kind of situation, so a lot of lies, um, definitely a sad situation, <clears throat> and next up, we have Bud Harris Andrews. Entered service July 1942. Trained as a pilot and received his commission at Albany, Georgia. November 20th, 1944. Um, killed at Morris Field, North Carolina, April 2nd, 1945. So the story behind Bud was he was in training on a Douglas A-20 bomber. Um, he was flying in the area of Charlotte, North Carolina. So a pretty populated area, a lot of civilians um, in the area. And I'm actually from North Carolina, so I know the train, it's, it's a lot of people. Um, so he was flying around the area. Um, and I believe what I remember reading was he, one of his engines caught fire. Um, and I guess he just started having trouble controlling it. Um, and he was over a populated area. And so he actually received orders to bail out. Um, but he didn't want his plane just to crash into a neighborhood, you know, and risk killing innocent people. So he actually denied orders to bail out. He stayed on board and looked for a clear place to land. He spotted a golf course. And so he went in for the landing. And unfortunately, during the crash landing, um, he was killed. Um, but he, he sacrificed himself. You know, he could have bailed out, but he chose to stay on board and he died for it. And he had just missed the last house in the neighborhood by like 20 feet. Um, <clears throat> so he, he's a hero. All of these are heroes. But that's how he, that's how all four of them died. Um, definitely all sad stories. And this is just four. 
you know, there were hundreds of thousands of soldiers with unique stories and overall just a really bad conflict. But I'm glad I can share these four. And even though it's just four, it's still something, you know, to remember them by. And so I'm happy I'm able to, I was able to find the research um, for what happened to them. And I'm happy I get to share it with you guys. So, and uh, on the back here, you can see it says our honor roll. I'm not quite sure what this is. I'm assuming this was kind of local people got together and maybe this is all of the soldiers who were killed that was in the local area. Maybe, I'm not sure. Um, or if this was just people they knew of that were serving during the time that they just wanted to you know, keep in their prayers. I'm not sure, um, but yeah. That's pretty much it. It's just a little memorial. Um, I thought it was interesting. But that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. And see you next time.